Melody here. You might know me as Apple Pie Movement. In today's interview with Mindy Dawn, we discuss how she has become a visual activist for the LGBTQ community fighting for equity in the state of Georgia. So grab a piece of pie. Come on, join our conversation. And I'm actually really proud of, so my wife is a high school English teacher. Um, and she's also a very prolific author. Oh, wow. Um, she, she, are you her creative um, I, We propel one another. We both um, are each other's um, I, pedestals. I had intended on um, being an, uh, a high school English teacher, um, but she actually became a high school English teacher. But this year, actually, um, there's, there's a book that she's editing called um, Closet Cases, Queers on What We and Wear. There are 75 different contributors all around the world of different genders and races and um and cultures every single one of us um uh wrote a um, a piece about um an article of clothing and what it means to us so i wrote um my piece about bow ties and what uh what bow ties mean to me in the space of visual activism and um and why i love them so much and why i take so much joy in them um so this year um, I will finally be a published author, um, but it, it's a great overlap and it's really, this is one that absolutely, um, I inspired her to come up with that, the idea for editing, for, for editing this book. It, this, this book is her brainchild and it, it, it is, it absolutely evolved from seeing my style evolution and seeing me step into this, um, uh, this advocacy and, and visual, uh, of visual activism. Uh, and aging up into being an elder statesman and, you know, and being able to show these, like, these teenagers that um, it sucked, it may suck right now, and, and, and I feel you, man, it sucked back in the day, um, but, you know, I've got silver hairs, and I've earned these silver hairs, I've got the, the 11s right here, and I've earned them, because I've had good cause to frown, and, um, and I've been denied jobs for being queer, um, maybe not overtly, but certainly covertly, but those are also not places I would want to work anyway. You know, to be able to be in that elder statesman place, it's, um, it's a great place of pride for both of us. And um, so she thought that she would actually um, dedicate this book to me uh, on, about classic cases and, and, um, and I would be in the dedication page and that would contribute. Um, but, you know, I, I enjoy writing. I have, a, I have a blog that I post to on rare occasions, I should do about it more than anybody should. Um, uh, but I do enjoy writing, and I enjoy expressing myself, and I enjoy being creative. And so, finally, a couple of months into the project, um, I asked her if um, if I could contribute something. And I said, I don't want special treatment. Um, if it sucks, if it's not in the tone of the book or anything of that nature, then you know, put me through the same process. But but you know, I, I, th this feels like a book that, that I should be a part of. And, um, and so she reached out to the publisher and, um, and she, she wanted to make sure that, that they would be okay with it. And um, so now the book is no longer dedicated to me because I actually get to be a part of it. And so I feel really proud about that. Oh, that's so sweet. You really have a, a beautiful love story, which is so rare in our community. 15 years and, and you still love each other. What's the secret to keeping that love alive? Um, we, we both have gratitude every day. Um, we, we always think about how our lives are made better for the other being in it. Like, I mean, today, right now, she is um, on her way back from um, another panel that she was sitting on. And as she was leaving um, a couple of hours ago, both of us were just like looking at each other, like all moony eyed, like, how am I so sad that you're just leaving for a couple of hours? Um, <laughs> take that. <laughs> um, he has been encircling me like a little shark wanting me to pet him and I'm just like ignoring him. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just really like each other and we really take great interest in the other person's interest even if it's not like our passion. Like she absolutely loves scents um, and she, act, uh, she has what I have as a clothing and a shoe collection and, um, and a beautiful closet as a result of that, um, she's got a prolific perfume collection. She has thousands of dollars of perfumes. Um, mm. And we both keep on you know, pushing each other to like explore that sort of curiosity and interest. And, um, you know, and we just really support one another. Um, 
it's a uh, she she is absolutely my favorite person in the world she's the person i like most in this world and the person that i love most in this world um and i i i it's weird that i'm not even a little bit sick of her <laughs> <laughs> and uh do your parents accept her and her parents accept you vice versa how does that have that worked or did you have to to grow peace between the in-laws uh, my parents are uh, um, so when, when, when they first met Megan, she was 22. Um, maybe, no, I think, no, she, she, she was 23 at the time. Um, and uh, she was in a, a little bit of a tougher kind of um, image of, uh, she, she wore like a spiked dog collar around her neck. And she met them um, for, uh, uh, we were meeting up for Thanksgiving and at a really nice uh, hotel. And Megan asked me before we were uh, we were driving there if she could wear her dog collar, and I said, "It's something that you feel comfortable in, right? And it's something that you feel is a part of you and a piece of you, right?" And she said, "Yeah." And I said, "When I met you, you were wearing it, and it didn't affect how I felt about you. And if it affects how they feel about you, then you know they're not the people that I think they are." Uh, now. They might have had an initial like hump to have to get over because that is you know it can be a little visually off putting you know it can be a little visually off putting um, but by like we spent a um, a long weekend uh, at at this hotel in in, uh, in in Georgia and absolutely everybody in the family if anybody did not accept her none of us uh, neither of us knew uh, and you know fifteen years later. Um, I mean, she is absolutely, she, she is 100% a part of the family. Like her, um, her parents are, um, are divorced and have, um, other partners, um, now. And we have, we, we seem to, um, kind of gravitate more toward my family when it comes to our relationship. And Megan's family absolutely, um, loves, accepts, and affirms us. Um, I, um, all the way up through her, uh, her grandpa, Papa. He still calls me cowboy, by the way. He still calls me cowboy. Oh. Aww. And now, do you two plan on having children anytime, or is that um, not something that you wanted? Or? When I was younger, I absolutely thought that I would, um, I would be a mom, um, regardless of um, when, I, when I came out of the closet. Um, and, um, and then I really thought about what was it that made me feel like I wanted to have children? Was it that it's the way that I grew up and I always had this idea in my mind that, you know, that women are supposed to have children. Um, I realized in retro, I, I, I realized, in, you know, in, in thinking through all of it, that being an auntie is the thing that I really wanted. You know, I, I, I have these wonderful children in my life that I get to um, uh, watch um, grow up. And then as a, as a result of that, like Megan and I have sort of, fallen into that space of being chosen aunties to a lot of our friends' kids. Um, and a number of them um, are um, LGBTQ. Uh, there are um, uh, two um, wonderful trans kids who absolutely um, asked us to call, uh, asked if they can call us uh, their aunties. Um, and then Megan and I still have the freedoms that we do um, to be able to Stay out as late as we want, or travel wherever we want, or um, you know, be as loud or as quiet as we want. Um, yeah, I, I feel like we have the best of both worlds. Hmm. Um, so everybody, thank you so much for joining us for another Apple Pie Table Talk. We'll look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Mindy, for being our guest. It was great getting to know you and spend some time together. We'll look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Melody. Had a great time.